What's going on guys, Angel here, welcome back to a Wolf of This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances, I unbox them, get my first impressions, and I also smell them on skin and on paper. This is a clone of a very popular fragrance from the House of Raza Parfume. It's called Danger Pour Ohm, but this one comes from the House of Alexandria fragrances and it's called Danger Zone. As you can already see, they kind of made the name similar. He does state though that this is inspired by that fragrance. So we're going to check it out. I don't have the original fragrance with me as it is very expensive. I only paid $73 for this fragrance. It usually retails between $42 to $110. Uh, I got the 55 ml version, but uh, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Here's the package here. It was uh, it shipped through USPS. The shipping was actually pretty quick. Um, it took only, I think, four or five days. Honestly, I think it took four days. It didn't take any time at all. So let's go ahead and rip it open. All right. I can kind of smell it a little bit, but I don't know. All right, so it looks like he wrapped it. So it basically was wrapped in three different things. So it was the USPS, then this, and then some more bubble wrap, which I do like. All right, let's go ahead and unravel this if I can, because it does feel like it's on there pretty securely. All right, there we go. Yeah, he definitely glued it on there. All righty. Oh, snap. He switched it to the black version now. So the other one that I have, this is my uh, seventh fragrance from him. The other one that I have, in fact, it's right here. It was a blue one. And this one's straight black now, which I actually kind of like. It looks really dope. I think it looks a little more luxurious. I like that gold uh, font for the logo. That looks really good. They did a good job. Now let's go ahead and open it up. And then after that, we'll talk about the notes in this because I did read the reviews. I was looking at the reviews to see which one should I really go with as far as a clone if i'm gonna get a clone which one is the best one to get from his house because he has so many that are based off of so many ones this one looks very juicy just from the looks of it it looks like uh the color is kind of not ambery but almost like a soda it kind of looks a little bit like apple juice maybe i like his bottles they're nice they're square bottles i, I like that they're square bottles they're just perfectly square is really cool but his newer bottle i don't have like a full like a uh, hundred mil i don't have a hundred milliliter version of uh, his new bottle yet um his new bottle looks really cool though so this one says woody aromatic fresh spicy um once again just so you all can kind of see what it says woody aromatic fresh spicy this is an extract de perfume so pretty much all his fragrances are going to be a top tier type of perfume some are going to last shorter, other ones are going to last longer. But like I said, from the views that I've seen, they were saying that this is one of his best ones that he's made, or at least clone, and this is honestly one of the best clones out there. But we're going to smell it in just a second. Let's go ahead and talk about the notes. Alrighty, so the description of this one says, Class in a bottle, extremely refined, a true performer, compliment gatherer. Danger Zone warns you from the minute you spray it that this will be an unforgettable attraction journey. With notes of vigorous cumin, exotic, castorium castorium green vetiver sweet flowers fresh lemons calm and lavender manly woody notes this thing is a complex beast now another thing that they were saying this smells like a manly scent though like i was reading a lot of reviews they were like if you're under 30 you shouldn't be wearing this or you know this is definitely not just the normal scent that you should be going for now one thing i do want to compare with you fast they said notes of vetiver uh fruit notes and whatnot i want to check uh, Raja Parfum's website and check what the notes are in theirs really quick just to see if it's very similar or not. Now Raja Parfum says the top notes are lemon, bergamot, lavender, and tarragon. The heart notes are lily of the valley, jasmine de grasse, or de grazy, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and violet. Then in the base you have a bunch of notes like patchouli, oak moss, woody notes, cedarwood, vanilla, tonka bean, leather, ambergris, must like there's a bunch that's the thing about roger perfumes you're gonna pay but you're gonna get an experience like no other with every fragrance that they have i don't have one yet because it's very expensive but every review i see is they're saying that it's worth the money i will get one very soon but for the time being i'm gonna go ahead and stick with danger zone i'm gonna spray this on paper first and then after that i'm gonna spray it on skin so uh let's get it Alrighty, so let me take the cap off this definitely snug Ooh. Yeah, that's uh that's strong. Just from the uh just from that, just from that little cap right there. Wow. 
just from the atomizer is crazy. Okay. I guess in a sense, we're probably going to have to spray this in the air, but it's going to get in the air anyway. So let's see how many sprays it takes if anyone sprayed this. Oh, somebody sprayed it. Okay. Somebody test sprayed it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Holy moly. First off, in the air, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. This is like, oh, wow. That's strong. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. I see why. Yeah, you have to be, you got to be older to wear this for sure. If you're like just getting into fragrances and you smell this, you're going to be like, oh, get that away from me. But mm, there's just, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on right now. Like I can't even really capture all the notes. I do get woody notes for sure. Oh, man. This is like, oh, this is almost churchy. It's almost churchy. In fact, it probably is churchy, but you definitely could wear this year round. I, I'm for sure that you could wear this year round and I'm going to wear it uh, to work in a couple days. I, I keep throwing it by my nose and I do smell it and it's like, I smell the vanilla. I smell this nice sweet aroma, but then I get the woody notes in the background. I keep getting these woody notes and it's like punching you in the face with it. It's just like, bam, bam. Yeah, it's definitely manly. Like, this is manly. Like, mmm. The best way I can describe it is like, think of like that older guy at church that you're like, oh yeah, I don't know what he has on. It's like dab it off cool water, if you get what I mean. It's like super strong. It doesn't smell like dab it off cool water at all. But, man, this thing. I like it though. I like it. I like that it's not overpowering it's not like oh that's too strong this is like just enough it's just manly enough for you to be like okay that's a man smell right there that's not a uh, little boy at all this is like grown man i may actually go ahead and just spray it all the way so we'll do one two three one you know we'll do it again two and then the atomize is pretty good all right here we go three all right so that's three shirt arm other arm and wow that just punched me in the face wow okay i definitely get more of the fresher notes the nice fruity fresh notes now i do get i i actually do smell the lemon honestly it smells like kind of like a lemon peel almost like just like somebody was doing lemon shavings that's what it kind of smells like but then i get this punch of these woody notes and it's so fresh it's so complex like this is this is different like this is not for your average like fragrance person at all like this is not your normal type of fragrance i blind buy pretty much all my fragrances i don't suggest everyone go and do that but me personally i'm in a position where i can do this and i like to blind buy fragrances mainly because i know i can sell this back i can return it if i need to i don't mind returning something okay so i let it dry down it's probably been like five minutes now um, I will let it dry down a little bit longer and try to see how long it really lasts because I'm not going to stay and try to film again after like two hours or something, but I'll put it on a screen somewhere, kind of how long it lasts me. I do smell this nice lavender. The lavender is in this background. All of a sudden it's like this nice flowery note. It's really nice. And I don't even like lavender like that, but this is like a light lavender. It's not crazy. It's just enough lavender mixed with like the woody note. And then you get that nice citrus. It This is just great. I was so excited about this fragrance that I forgot to rate it. I'm going to, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give Danger Zone... <sighs> I'm going to give this an 8.5. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's really good. Um... This is something else. I, I I cannot wait to wear this and just see what people think. I would really like to kind of see and get actual reactions, even without this being on skin, and see what women and men think of this fragrance. But with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.